Hello and welcome to Teen Mom Trash Talk, episode 175. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co-host, Noel Winters Herzog. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Noel. Thank you so much for being here today. We're here to talk about Teen Mom 2, season 10, episode 15. I can't believe it's been 15 episodes. I don't know. That went by quick. I know. It's so insane because how many more episodes are there of this season? That should usually isn't there just like 12? I don't you know. You know what makes me happy? What? I like that in one episode, Kale announces her pregnancy. And in the next episode, <laughs> she's spread eagle on her bed. Uh-huh. Pushing yeah. a baby out. I'm like, uh-huh. that, like, honestly, if pregnancy is like that, I'll do it. No, you know what? It's true because Brianna, I did not know this. It was Nova's eighth birthday and then her ninth birthday. Yeah. They showed two different birthdays. I thought they were just editing the same birthday party. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Also, um, who else had another birthday? Um, oh, someone else did have another birthday. Who Who's even on the show Jade. anymore? I don't Jade know. had another birthday. Oh, Everyone yeah, had you're right. Birthday. Uh-huh. There's That's so true. many birthdays. That's true. That's true. I mean, Watson is 15 years old now. <laughs> Poor Watson. So cute. <laughs> well, if you love what you're hearing, guys, make sure that you are joining the Patreon at patreon.com slash trash talk podcast for over 200 bonus episodes. We also have unexpected trash talk. Uh, at the super duper trash talker level. We also have BS, our other podcast where we talk about everything and anything. Mm, Exciting. We have 90 day fiance self quarantine trash talk. There are so many bonus episodes that it's almost like subscribing to an entirely different podcast. And you guys love us. You do. And we love you. We love you back. I love you all the way. All the way. All right, so let's let's jump in the pool with Chelsea. Okay, I'm ready. All right, so we're going to do her gender reveal. Now, all right, I know, I know a lot of people complain about Chelsea's baby talk. Right. But it's not really her baby talk that bothers me. It's her voice. It's her fake voice that she uses. It's the pitch of her voice that bothers me. Yes, agreed. I don't understand. It's like sing song. Um, Sammy Sweetheart on Jersey Shore did the same thing. I can't take yeah, it. Yeah, I can't stand it. It drives me crazy. Cole just has that voice naturally. Chelsea doesn't. Cole is Flanders, Ned Flanders. Who is Ned Flanders? From The Simpsons, The Neighbor. Mm, yeah, okay. That shows how much I watch these Do things. you not watch? You don't know who Ned Flanders is? No. Mm-mm. Oh, I know who he do, is. Neighbor. I don't know. I know who he is because I've seen The Simpsons, but I'm not like an avid Simpsons. He's like watcher. he's like um he's like the mustache guy, right? Yes, the yeah. goody two shoes where he goes to church and he's always like telling home or like like he should do better and like you know. Well, that's what Chelsea wants us to think of her. Well, that's what Cole, right? Yes. Right. Okay, got it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so then she says to Aubrey, "This is a quote. You ready? Mm-hmm. Aubrey, what do you think the baby is?" <laughs> A baby. And Aubrey looks her in the eye and goes, I think the baby's fucking stupid. I don't know why we have to keep doing this, mom. You know what I think? I think this is going to be another one of my responsibilities. You know what else yes. I think? I think this baby is going to be part of your new family where you forgot about me. How about that? You want to know what the baby is? That's what I think the baby is. Oh, okay. And I'm texting my dad right now, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Chelsea's like, what do you think the baby is, Watson? Right. Watson's like, meow, meow. <laughs> She's um, like, what about you, Lane? And Lane's like, I am six months <laughs> old and you are pregnant again. It's true. I don't know what she is thinking. She goes like she's very extreme. She's like, I don't want more kids. I want to work on me. And now it's like, I want to have more kids. Like, I don't get it. She's like, I'm really scared of being pregnant in the quarantine. Cole, blow another load in me. Right. Gross. Gross. Thanks, Tracy. Gross. Mm-hmm. Aubrey is uh, like a teenager now. It's crazy. Like she in like two episodes turned into a teenager. <sighs> She's so cute. I love Aubrey and I wish I had. So custody. do I. I yeah, would I let love her, her text Adam all the time. Me too. I would um, not talk bad about him. Mm-mm, I wouldn't give her siblings she doesn't want. <laughs> right. I wouldn't. I wouldn't take a family picture where we're all a family and then Aubrey sitting next to us on the couch. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Nope. I wouldn't do any of those things. Okay, just saying. All right, so now they're going to do the gender reveal right. in front of the dirt on the dirt in the mud in front of a not real house in front what of the frame the of a house. Right. What is the point? She's obsessed with this house. 
Okay, I don't even know why. I'm not obsessed with her. I'm glad she's leaving. Bye. I'm not either. So, um, it's a girl. Wow. Okay, great. Also, okay. she also says when she got pregnant with this baby, she's like, this is our last baby. Okay, sometimes she says that, though. And then... She alludes, yeah. And then she says... Watson is going to be the only boy, probably. Probably. It's always a maybe. Does she mean probably. if anyone becomes trans? Like, what do you mean? I, I guarantee you she has another kid. She will. Yes. Mm-hmm. So she said the house is going to be ready in a few months. Well, they better hurry up because it is not <laughs> ready right now. No, it's not. It's not even a little ready right now. Watson's really cute, though. He says um, they're driving mm-hmm. to the new house because that's all they do. That's mm-hmm. the only activity that they do. They're like, you want to yes. go play in the dirt? Right. You want to go lay in the mud? Right. And they're like, okay, so uh, Watson's like, are the cameras coming? <laughs> She's like, yeah, they are. Him. And he's so excited. So this he's black very house, cute. I can't take this black house. Here's the thing. Black, like you, me and you, love the color black. It's like love our black. favorite color. Love it. This house is even too much for me. I can't believe how gross it is. Also, this is kind of like if you were... Um, to let like a three-year-old pick you're like what color do you want the house to be right and it's like black and then you're like what do you want to name the baby tinkerbell <laughs> it's like you shouldn't take advice from children That's no why. you're you're absolutely right and also my i mean listen my biggest problem is the inside of the house i've th- those pictures they kill mm-hmm. me that deer rug it kills me i can't take it yeah all right so she wants the kids to go to school in person and by the kids she means aubrey I think she means all of them. I don't think she wants to deal with them. She wants Aubrey to go in person because she said that Aubrey did poorly in homeschool. Oh, maybe because you don't pay attention to her at all. Right. Probably because you didn't help her at all. Probably because Aubrey was feeding the children. (laughs) Aubrey had to take care of two kids (laughs) and go to homeschool. That's probably why. And listen to Cole's voice. Oh, God. So she said that Watson's going to start preschool early in a pandemic. Right. And that's the thing. She's like, he's going a year early, but that's okay. And it's like, why are you doing this? It's daycare. It's daycare. Just say it. I'm putting him in daycare for no reason during a pandemic when it's very dangerous. Because she, it's, I guess it's like a lot for her, but now Cole stays home. He does not do anything. He does not work. I want to make this clear because they even say it. So why do you need to send this little boy in the middle of a pandemic? I don't know, but they flash back to dropping Aubrey at daycare. And I bet Uh, you anything when Chelsea saw that they did that, she was probably like, no, take it out. Yeah, she probably was like, I quit. I quit. I was fat. My face was fat. I quit. (laughs) Yeah, that's why she quit. Uh So now um, Cole is self-taping with Watson and showing him how to put his mask on. Right. It's, okay. But that's kind of cute, though. That was cute. Was very cute. Yeah. Okay. So now they put Watson in, quote unquote, pre-K. Uh-huh. Daycare. Uh-huh. He's so excited. I guess he wants to be around other kids, which I understand. Yeah. But don't call it what it's not. He's like, I don't want to change Lane's, Lane's diapers anymore. <laughs> Just send me to something. Right. I don't want to hear your voices anymore. Okay. But also, like, there's so many people right now that have to send their kids to daycare because they're essential workers. Yes. Yes. Or they ca- or they can't work from home. Yes. And this is, like, the only thing that they could do. Why would you add that? I wouldn't. When he's actually, like, in a bit of danger, when you have a choice. Um, I think that people forget... You know, having all these kids, yes, it's very hard. And people say, well, if it's so hard, don't have so many kids. I don't agree with that. But it's also like, it's a pandemic. I think that you can handle having two kids at home right now. Yeah, I don't know. This was a little bit crazy. Mm -hmm. I I think that it's stressful regardless. Mm -hmm. So do I. It is very stressful, you know, to have two kids at home, Aubrey in school. Mm -hmm. Maybe you needed a little bit of alone time. But that's really where therapy comes in. That's definitely, she could definitely use some therapy right now. She could use BetterHelp Online Counseling because she could use it whether she's on the dirt lot, whether she's on the Farmville Square. It's worldwide and it's just so amazing because you can talk to licensed professional counselors and they actually have ones that they specialize in anxiety and stress. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So many people have been using BetterHelp that they're recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. As a listener, you will get 10% off your first month by visiting betterhelp.com slash trash talk. 
Join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health. Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash trash talk. All right. Someone who could use a lot of help is Leah. Okay, and here's the thing. Leah is not like, okay, we have to send the kids to school. Like, I don't know. She's just not like Chelsea. No, she's not. But this is also the girls' week with Dakota. Right. The girl, Dakota has these kids every week. Always. She's always like, the girls are with Corey right now, but I'm going to go pick them up eventually, question mark. (laughs) She also, this is the most I think we've ever seen of Corey. I know. She's like, the girls are with Corey and Addie's in her cage in the basement. (laughs) Addie's with the spiders downstairs (laughs) in the bathtub. Addie's taking a bath in the sink with dirty water in my old trailer. Oh, it was the worst. That was the worst. So why did Corey wake them up in the middle of the night to go to homeschool? I don't know. I don't know. I was wondering the same thing. I'm like, is this, is there a reason why they're up and it's black outside? Like what time is it that they have to start homeschool? Cause I feel like it's not four in the morning. No, it's not four in the morning. I don't know. I feel like West Virginia, like I said, it's a different beast. Do they not have the sun in West Virginia? No. Mm-mm. Okay, well, that checks out, actually. <laughs> so now here's the thing. They want all the girls, all the girls have to stay home because it's so dangerous because they're in right. a zone where there's so right. many cases. And yet they put Addie in dance school. Uh-huh. Because these people don't want their children. Nobody does. <laughs> they're like, Addie, do you want to learn how to um, maybe do construction? Uh-huh. We're going to send you to a plumber's (laughs) apprentice program, okay? You have to wear your mask, and it is, uh, it's 12 and a half hours a day. It's for three years. It's sleep away. (laughs) (laughs) It's sleep away plumber's apprentice (laughs) camp. And when you come back, I'm going to need you to fix some stuff around the house. (laughs) But not live here. (laughs) And not live here, so... If you could do that. And also, Straight Alley, you're going to go with her. Mm -hmm. And uh, Curly Alley, we're going to keep you at home and we're going to try not to expose you. But we are, uh, uh, you know, occasionally going to have people that are COVID positive just walk through the living room. (laughs) (laughs) You know, but I don't think that is going to be a big deal because you're not going to go to school. No, it's fine. They could, they'll they just hug you once. It's fine. (laughs) (laughs) You're going to do a little kiss on the lips. No talk. Okay, great. So now when she's talking to Addie, Addie tells her to be quiet. Listen, Addie, she's nasty. She is a little nasty. You know what? She is. Now she's picking up the twins. And Straight Allie has a crop top on that says Harvard. Uh Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. We all know where this is going with Straight (laughs) Allie. We all know what paths she's going to (laughs) take. Correct. So why does straight alley start a day after curly alley okay but aren't they they're twins aren't they in they're the same twins. grade they're in the same grade in the same school right i was wondering the same thing mm-hmm. they're probably like straight alley you know what you're gonna do when you grow up you right. don't need that extra you day don't of need school. this yeah you don't need this <laughs> so um now she's talking to the girls and she's like listen sis <laughs> Mommy's driving this big car right now. Right. And it's like, these kids are not slow. I don't uh, know what uh, you're talking about. She to them talks like to them like they are. You know, when I get nervous, my heart races. Does yours? It's like, Mommy shut gets up. nervous a lot. One time, Mommy got so nervous when <laughs> she was speaking that she put everything in a pasta pot in the middle of a restaurant and lit it on fire. Have you ever been that nervous? <laughs> One time mommy was so nervous she dropped a baby as she fell asleep on TV. (laughs) One time mommy was so nervous she took an entire bottle of pills and fell asleep on the phone with your doctor. Have you ever been that nervous? (laughs) One time mommy was so nervous she lost custody of you guys. Have you ever been that nervous? One time mommy was so nervous that she fucked Robbie on the deer cam and your original daddy saw it. Have you ever been that nervous? <laughs> have you? Oh, God. I mean, I've been that nervous. <laughs> I don't think they have. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, man. You know who gets that Dear nervous? Kim. Aunt Victoria. She gets Seriously. that nervous. Oh, my God, Tracy. My face just went red. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my God. Okay. So all of them are remote learning. <laughs> and Addie says, so she's like, I'm your principal. See, the thing is, Lee is not convincing as a figure of authority. No, she's not. She's too silly. So she goes, um, Addie goes, mommy's on her period and she's going to be the meanest principal. And Addie says, there's no discipline. You're not going to discipline me. And neither is he talking about Jeremy. Right. Yeah. And, I mean, she, she's not wrong. She's not wrong. Nobody's going to yell at her. You think they're going to punish her? They're like, listen, do whatever you want. Just stay in the basement. She's like, yeah, I guess we could take away her electronics. I don't know. And it's like, do you not know how to punish a child? No. Make her wear a prom dress to school <laughs> next time. <laughs> <laughs> I love your punishments. <laughs> oh my God. Make her wear a prom just to dance class, a COVID <laughs> class. To make her not wear a mask. Yeah. She's there like, you you're going to go do some workouts. And it's like, are you sending this kid to the gym? <laughs> the sleepaway gym. <laughs> the sleepaway gym. <laughs> oh my God. Um, oh all right. God. So. Addie, oh. she said that Addie took some time to settle down. <laughs> that must have not been great. No, that was definitely a scene. You know, that that was a Tracy scene. That was her way of saying, like, listen, we locked her in the basement. She was bouncing off the wall. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it took seven to ten hours for her to stop screaming. <laughs> what, we had a, what, a blow dart. We had a blow <laughs> darter. <laughs> but eventually she tired herself out and now she's <laughs> sleeping on the concrete floor peacefully. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay. Oh God. So she asked the kid, she's like, what do you like best about homeschooling? And Curly Alley says, I like wearing sweatpants. And you know what, Curly? Yeah. Same. same. Curly Alley is so my favorite. All right. So fun little drinking game. Mm hmm. Rewatch the episode. Okay. Every time Leah says e learn. Oh God. I would have take alcohol a shot. poisoning. <laughs> take a shot. Also, so she, she, gets them all together and she's like all right girls we're all in this together girl power yeah it's so lame though <laughs> she's so lame like she tries so hard but it's just so lame like these girls just roll their eyes forever at her they really do they don't take yeah. this seriously mm -mm. i'm so glad they're parenting themselves though i know seriously they're not turning out so bad though it's no no that's sassy. what i'm saying like they're they're <laughs> doing a curly alley is like listen you all know i'm your mom right right Curly Alley is the mom. She's also the favorite. So, yeah, well, I mean, she's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Staying home with three kids, like all kidding aside, must be pretty hard to start dinner. I couldn't imagine trying to e-learn with all these three kids <laughs> and then trying to cook. And I think that HelloFresh would be a great idea. You can get fresh, pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door with HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh lets you skip those trips to the grocery store and makes home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. I uh, have been using HelloFresh. We both have. Yeah. And I want to tell you about my favorite recipe that I made. Oh, let's hear it. All right. So it was Southwest chicken sausage and rice skillet. I didn't know if I was going to like this. Yeah, I would teeter on that. I made it and I was like, you know what? Let me jump in the pool with this one and okay. let me make it. It was one of the best things I've ever made in my whole life. Really? Yeah, it was so, so good. So it was like onions and peppers with a chicken sausage and then like rice and sauce. And mm. it was almost like the filling of a burrito. That sounds delicious. It was so good. And they give you all of the ingredients, everything. Like there's no waste. It's just really, really easy. I really liked it. You guys can go to HelloFresh.com slash 80 trash talk and use code 80 trash talk to get $80 off, including free shipping. So that's hellofresh.com slash 80 trash talk and use code 80 trash talk to get $80 off, including free shipping. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, Brianna, Brianna. All right. I'm ready. I have no segue <laughs> for this one. This is, that's all you got. Brianna. Yeah. Brianna. Okay, it's uh, All right, Nova's so, ninth birthday weekend. <laughs> <laughs> it's Nova's 25th birthday. Seriously. And guess what? What? Florida is finished with COVID. Uh -huh, no, it's over. Yeah. And gymnastics and school are in full swing. But also, and Florida's on the same time as West Virginia, right? The middle of the night. Right. 
Are what these is going this? to night school? Is she like, <laughs> listen, I got to bring you at night. I'm sorry. I know your friends go during the day, but I'm going to bring you at night because I got to get some sushi, if you know what I mean. So you got to go get your GED. <laughs> like, <laughs> what are they doing? Stella's working on her GED <laughs> test prep. She's like, listen, <sighs> I, I can't really afford nursery school. I bought this townhouse. <laughs> it, it was $53 and I've been paying it off ever since. And DJ J- Chucker Cablu don't help me. Right. He helps me a little bit, but whatever. I love but, him. But he whatever. gave me more than, than you could ever give me. He gave me chlamydia. He gave me more at the sushi restaurant than you could ever give me. <laughs> <laughs> so she takes him in the dark. Also, sometimes they have a dog. I didn't see the dog. Do they? I don't yeah. know. They have a okay. poodle. But whose is it? Question mark. Okay. Interesting. Maybe maybe uh, Lou decided to become a dog trainer and then abandoned his passion and had to start <laughs> trucking again. And he left the dog at Listen, the Listen, it the wouldn't surprise playhouse. me. Okay, Can so he's know? also uh, uh, a groomer or a breeder? Well, he was he was a groomer and breeder for just a okay. little while. Okay. Okay, so now <laughs> Brianna is sitting on the couch eating her curds and whey. I know. I don't know what she was eating. I'm like, is this yogurt? Is this cereal? What is this? And just with her mouth full. Mm -hmm. The whole time. Yep. So she's like, listen, I'm going to get an Airbnb for her birthday. I don't want people in my house. (laughs) I want to get COVID at an Airbnb. But why are you doing this? Right. Why are you doing this? Okay, but you can get COVID in a different house with all people. No, you can't. No, you can't. Okay. Well, (laughs) I I didn't know that. Like, here I am all stupid. Like, (laughs) like. It's just in my house that I can get COVID. So it's like if I go outside to someone else's house. Right. No, can't get I it. I can't get COVID. Really? But they can get COVID because they're in their own house. Oh, oh. well, that's interesting. Yeah. That's an yeah, interesting it's- swing of things. So she's, uh, she said Devon's family is going to come, but she's not going to talk to them. Okay. She's, I, I, listen, it's fine, but like she's so petty. She sucks. I also think that they're okay with that. Who wants to talk to her? Also, it's a TikTok theme. Is TikTok a theme of Yes. Things? Oh, my God. Let me tell you something. So I saw the TikTok theme, and I'm like, all right, fine. I'll start looking yeah. at videos. Yeah, you followed me. <laughs> yeah. Well, unfortunately, at 1 o'clock in the morning, I hadn't stopped. Uh-huh. It doesn't I'm like, stop. This is, this is fun. This is very fun. Yes. Um. So Brittany is feeding the dog a chicken wing. Uh huh. No, the, it's good for the bones. You know, the bones yeah. are good for the dog. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. good because, like, in case their trachea wasn't aerated enough, <laughs> <laughs> the chicken wing bones can poke some holes in it. So mm-hmm. that's good. It's like a doggy tracheotomy. <laughs> <laughs> so Brittany, uh, the only voice of reason in this entire Always. family, goes, uh, "Maybe arguing about money right now isn't worth it." Right? You think? And she's like, no, it is because he's flexing on Instagram. Now, okay. Mm-hmm. To her point. Yes. He's holding bundles of money. Listen, mm-hmm. we know they're not his. No, I know. It's like, Brianna, you know they're not his. We know they're not his. So stop pretending that that was his money that he was fanning out. But that's the thing. So he's stunning. He's like stunting on Instagram with fake Gucci's, with Fuchi's. Right. You're mad. But then you see, you're like, what did he really spend a lot of money on? And you see what it was. He bought Cher's original yellow plaid outfit from Clueless. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He's just missing the thigh highs. <laughs> but he brought, that was the original one. And he bought mm-hmm. that from Planet Hollywood. So I understand. He Did he buy it from <laughs> Contempo Casuals? That's so funny. <laughs> Planet Hollywood. <laughs> So um, it's Nova's birthday. I remember and this being is- waiting in contempt in Planet Hollywood, like looking at the stuff on the wall. Yeah. Thinking like, oh, how cool. This is from Alien or whatever it was. Right. Yeah. And then it's like Devon walks yeah. right in and buys things right off the wall because he's got the cash. <laughs> it's like Crazy, he's shopping was very at a funny. museum. <laughs> Thank you. So it's Nova's birthday. And this is a quote. You ready? Right. Yep. The crew can't come inside with this many people. Right. Okay. So does that mean because she doesn't want the crew to get sick? She doesn't want the people to get sick. There's too many people inside. What does this mean? But she can go inside with this many people. Why is Roxanne's ass so big suddenly? Did you notice? I don't know. Maybe she got a Snapchat ass. I I think she went to go visit Dr. Miami. It's huge. 
Mm-hmm. He, he probably played some good rap music while he pumped her full of cement. Oh, la, 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 la. Uh-huh. All right. So the producers are outside and they ask Devoin about the fight. Right. He's like, oh, it was stupid. Uh, he's like, I apologize. I, I apologize. It was stupid. And uh, the crew is like, yeah, but tell us more about it. He's like, um, I'm not going to get in it. He's like, why don't you go inside the party? And yeah. talk to Brianna about the fight. He's like, no, I'm not going to do that because that's going to start a fight. Right. Yeah, he knows. Also, if you go to the Teen Mom Trash Talk podcast Facebook group, right. you will see the actual text messages between Devoin and Brianna that they did not show on the episode last week. Ooh, scandalous. They made him look like a dick and he just wasn't. Right. She loves to make him look terrible, though. Yep. Well, here's another problem that they had in this episode. She didn't get Roxanne a matching T-shirt with the family. Right. I don't know why she didn't. I'm going to tell you. Why? Uh, I don't know why she didn't do that, but I, I did find out some other information. You what? Ready? Yeah. All right. So her new boyfriend. Uh-huh. His the name tattoo is tattoo guy. Yeah. She is dating someone named Javi so she could repurpose original Javi's shirt from Stella's first birthday. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, she's going to use that for her new boyfriend for her next birthday. Listen, she may as well. I would. He's going to be like, baby, you have anything that says Javi? (laughs) And she's going to be like, oh, yeah, I do. I have one right here. Hold on one second. (laughs) Here you go. Here you go. You like like Mickey Mouse? (laughs) You liked it. He liked it. My ex liked it. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So now she says, Mm -hmm. I don't know why uh, Devoin's family only comes for holidays, (laughs) birthdays, celebrations, and get togethers. They're right there when she's sick. So she, so um, Javi, you hear me now? I'm saying Javi. So Devon's sister is supposed to Mm -hmm. come over. When uh, Nova has a cold. Yes. And mother. Okay. And father. Okay. Okay. And cousins. Okay. So they should celebrate then. Like, what does she mean? She wants them to come over. She just wants to have a nice little gathering. Uh, Nova just lays on the couch and they all look at her. Okay. As someone whose parents were not together, my mom came for holidays and for celebrations <laughs> and birthdays. My mom did not come when I had strep. You know, like, well, I mean, that's also a sad story in in itself. But well, yeah, that's true. (laughs) (laughs) That's that wasn't a great comparison. Noel, you were like, my mom never even took care of me when I was sick. What is her problem? (laughs) So what if my mom didn't love me? Yeah, whatever. Same shit. (laughs) Whatever. The dog walker took care of me. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Kale. Okay, I'm ready. The film crew is back because, mm-hmm. again, COVID's done. COVID, COVID's done in, yeah. in uh, Delaware. And she mm-hmm. said the baby's very difficult and he's tongue tied, but he's going to get his the underneath part of his tongue clip next week. And then um, they ask about Chris. Okay, but I want to know what tongue tied is. I don't know what tongue tied is. Okay, so tongue tied, obviously, you've never seen a breastfeeding documentary, number one. Obviously. Uh huh. No, definitely not. So, you know the little string underneath your tongue? Uh huh. Sometimes it's too far up and you can't lift your tongue up properly. Oh. So it's like tied down. So what they do is they do a tiny little snippy snip and, and then like you can pick your tongue it. up and okay. then you could latch on for breastfeeding or bottle feeding. Interesting. Really? He's so, so cute. This little Creed. He's a very I love cute him. baby. I love all Me these too. kids. Mm-hmm. Okay. So they ask about Chris and she's like, I haven't seen him. So first of all, Creed's like two days old. Right. She's like, uh-huh. he hasn't been here since he was born. He just brought a box of diapers and that was it. He brought a box of diapers. Okay, so now here's the other thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had a fan uh-huh. contact me uh-huh. and say that they were listening, I guess, to coffee combos. Okay. And Kale said that Chris brought to the birth a shower curtain to put on the bed so she didn't get guts on the bed. Oh, well, that's that's kind of nice. See, that is the Chris I like. <laughs> <laughs> That's the shit I like. He brought a tarp. Yeah. That, you know what? That's ingenuity. <laughs> <laughs> and he wore a rain jacket. Yeah. I, I would have too. I would have had an umbrella there. 
Do you, can you hear this? It was like a motorcycle gang that just passed I, my house. I hear. I heard. <laughs> All right. So she also said that they didn't argue while she was in labor. I would hope not. Okay. And she said that there was a very scary moment because Creed came out not breathing. And she said that it was very scary because she's 45 minutes from the hospital and she didn't know what to do. And then eventually the baby started breathing. See, I'm not against home births, but when you live 45 minutes from a hospital, that's Correct. my problem. Yes. Same. Like mm-hmm. I would do like a tent outside the hospital and I would birth in there. Right. Well, the thing is like my old house was like four minutes from the hospital. So it's like, yeah, I'll give birth here. And then you can get the baby there in a second if there's a problem. Okay. So here's the thing. I think that if you want a home birth, Noel, do you want a home yeah. birth? No. Okay. Because we could rent an Airbnb like next to the hospital. Uh-huh. And we could do it there if you want. Um, I just don't want like, you know what I hate about giving birth and I, cause I've done it so many times. <laughs> Why? I just, I don't want a fucking needle in my arm the whole time. Why do they do that? Why do I have to have an IV the entire time you're in the hospital? Okay. Can I tell you a secret? Yeah. What do I hate more than anything when I go to the doctor? Uh, getting your blood taken. Blood pressure as well. Well, yes. Blood pressure as well. Okay. Uh-huh. Do you know that the entire time you're in labor, they keep the cuff on you, the automatic cuff? Really? See, it doesn't bother me. Oh, well. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. No, thank you. Yeah, well, that that's like you're honestly like a phobia of yours. Like yeah. you couldn't handle that. Yeah. No, I would tell like sometimes I go to the doctor. If I go to like a, the same, like if I go to two doctors in a week, one of them gets to take my blood pressure. Okay, I can understand that though. I don't know. I don't blink twice about that. Yeah, and then I'll be like, um, sorry. I already got the, I picked the other doctor to do you were it. Beat, yeah. He beat you to it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I know you really wanted to do it to me. Um, so she said that she doesn't want Chris and Creed's life. Okay. I mean, yawn. I've heard mm-hmm. this so many times. Correct. So they're doing uh, some e-learning. Mm-hmm. As yes. Leah would call it. And Isaac offers Lincoln help. He's like, listen, Lincoln, <sighs> as your dad, Uh uh-huh as your mentor (laughs) he's like as your your guru through life he's like just let me know when you need help i love isaac i he's so gentle he's such a good kid so isaac and lincoln are filming each other Mm -hmm. which is even cuter i loved it they should get hired Mm -hmm. so now she talks to natalie her nanny natalie is going to be watching lux right and she takes creed to the ent to get his tongue clipped right and she takes the dog to doggy daycare. This is Buddha. Where's karma? Uh, that's what I was wondering. I was wondering the same thing. Where's karma? I don't know. So now she calls Kristen on the way home and they said he's not tongue tied. And she's so frustrated because she knows that he is. And I have to tell you, some people in the group were saying that this is definitely a possibility that the doctor was wrong. Is it though? Cause I'm sitting here thinking like, Oh, maybe he really is just very fussy. Mm, I mean, maybe, but maybe not. Hmm. Interesting. I did. I never knew tongue tied was a thing. So this is all new to me. Yes. So now let's talk about Jade. It's Chloe's third birthday already. Okay. She's still an actual baby though. I know. Yeah. So now Sean is sitting on the couch folding the laundry. How is he folding this laundry? Yeah, not good is how he's folding it. He's, he's like it, rolling it. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> and he's yelling at Chloe. She's yelling at Chloe. They're all yelling at Chloe. This is like a super stressful. No, I know. And the thing is, like, I like again, I think people forget like how frustrating it is to be with the kid 24 seven. But like, this is a lot. I feel really bad for her because this house is so there's one kid. Yeah. This house is too chaotic. It's like everyone's so angry all the Mm -hmm. time. So then she calls Christy and now she's yelling at the baby. Chloe's right. Do you think that maybe Chloe wants some attention? Yeah, of course. Because no. Do you ever see anybody just sit down and play with Chloe? No, she no, appears from dark rooms. And now she goes back in a dark yep. room in the crib for a timeout. And, but did you see? Okay, they put her in and she put her leg over it. And Jade <laughs> started walking out. And then they stopped it. It went to commercial. And I'm like, oh, she's going to launch herself out. <laughs> so now it's Chloe's birthday dinner. Because this is what Chloe always dreamed of as a birthday Take party. Take out. She's, she's <laughs> like, I would love to get some steak. Yeah, I would love some takeout because that's mommy's favorite (laughs) takeout. So they go to a day dinner Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, a little lip kissing with Christy. Mm -hmm. She has a ballerina doll. 
Uh huh. And then, um, okay. I don't know if I've ever said this before, but I'm looking at Christy and her husband. Yeah. Tell me, what's his name? Corey? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. He looks like he could be Sean's dad. Yes, he does. He absolutely does. He's like, he's got that cracky Sean. look. Yep. <laughs> this is like a Butch April situation. Yes. Except like the April is Corey. <laughs> you know? And also the Butch is Corey. Yeah, and the Butch is Corey. I don't know. Sean seems like he's on the cusp now. Like, uh, Sean, like and also uh, Sean is sobriety. Drinking. Yeah, he's on the cusp of sobriety. I mean, you he's not tell. on the cusp. He's drinking. No, no. I'm saying like of of drugs yes, not of alcohol sure. yeah so now christy asks if they're gonna put uh chloe in private school mm-hmm. yeah no that's that's what they're mm-hmm. gonna do yeah, yeah she's gonna go exactly to saint what... mary's uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> how'd you know and sean's <laughs> like i'm going back to school too and jade's gonna put me in private school you bitch <laughs> why is he so angry always I mean, why is Jade so nasty always? She's so nasty. She is just so nasty. And She's a nasty, nasty cunt. Well, that's here's the thing. J- uh, Sean feels that Jade tries to control everything, and that's what spirals Sean out of control, I think. Totally. Yeah. yeah but mm-hmm. they, they react to each other. So, yeah, it's very uh, bad. He's like, I'm going to St. Mary's. And Jade's <laughs> like, good for you. Uh, you also have to get a job. And he's like, why do I have to do both? St. Mary's is two days a week. Yeah, but you, <laughs> but the thing is, you expect someone who hasn't worked in so long, who now he has to go to school and work. You know what I mean? I understand he's, that. He's big mad that he's yeah. going to have to get a job and go to work. Yeah. And uh, then Christy says, this is a quote. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's not look like a bunch of white trash. Yeah. She is the actual voice of reason. And that's how I know I'm in the twilight zone. <laughs> so now they're fighting. They're fighting. They're yelling. Mm-hmm. Um jade cannot hide that she's mad right and uh she's just being like a garbage bag at the table like this is chloe's birthday dinner stop yeah she's like i want to go home and he's like well it's not about you and it's it's right it's not about you it's not but also he's a dick too and then so she's talking to christy on the side about sean and she goes this is a quote everyone ain't built like we are not everyone's as smart as us interesting you're right i'm not as smart as you (laughs) <laughs> well i gotta tell you christy uh has worked more than sean has oh for sure christy is definitely she was in the streets she was running the i was streets. gonna say she worked the streets a lot harder than he did sean's not working the streets i mean no. if you're gonna be an addict at least get a good job like that right uh-uh he doesn't know how pick a corner sean <laughs> so jade starts crying that no one's supporting her Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. Stop surrounding yourself with people like that. I mean, yeah, the thing you're not going like, to get support from Sean. I understand that your parents are your parents, but right. you're not going to get support from Sean. You've never had support from Sean. It's been years. Like, like I think like six years you've been with Sean him. Sean is 45 years old. He is uh-huh. older than your grandfather. Yes. Yeah, he really is. Okay. <laughs> so, I, I mean, if you keep trying to get water from a stone... Uh uh-huh who's the idiot yeah she's the idiot just saying um she said that basically she's saying he's abusive to her and that he makes fun of her weight and all this stuff and it's like girl get out get out you're doing this on national television i mean Uh it's bad enough when we do it when i mean so many women do this not on tv like how embarrassing is this yeah, and the thing is, it's it keeps happening over and over and over again. Yeah, like, I mean, she's the only one that's going to break the cycle. That's it. It's mm-hmm. up to her. And we would support her all the way. We would if she wasn't so nasty. But, you yeah. know, here we are. <laughs> uh, <laughs> guys, I hope you enjoyed Teen Mom Trash Talk. Make sure you join the Facebook group. You could follow us at Trash Talk Podcast on uh, Twitter, Teen Mom Trash Talk on Instagram. You could follow me at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram and Twitter. And Noelle at Noe underscore Bear810 on Instagram and Noe Girl on Twitter. And just know uh, we have a lot of merch for sale. So you can go to TracyCarnazzo.com or you can go to the Facebook group. We have pop sockets. We have stickers. We have two kinds of magnets. We have Mm -hmm. one shirt left. 
So guys, buy the shirt. It's an extra large left. and it's it's great. It's amazing. <laughs> um, we have, what else do we have? We have 90 Day Fiance, ma- two different kinds of 90 Day Fiance magnets, a holographic 90 Day Fiance sticker, and we have stickers of our faces. That's right. We, we have Noel. face stickers. So mm-hmm. uh, check them out. Contact us. Go into the group. Make yourself known if you want some merch for Christmas. All right. Makes a great gift for your parents. Yeah, really. Your dad wants a picture of our faces. Okay, honestly, though. Uh Yeah, I know. Just saying. Okay, guys, we'll see you next week. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye.